everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the 20 beauty tag questions. I was actually tagged twice in this, one by Asanta and also by Louisa from Weezer's World. I'll tag both of them below so you can go and check out their channels, both amazing girls. And so basically, there's 20 questions to run through, it's all makeup related, and it's just a really good chance to kind of get to know me a little bit better, so I thought this would be a fun tag to do. So I have all of the questions here in front of me, there's 20 questions, all beauty related, so if you're interested in finding out more about me around makeup, then please keep watching. So number one is, do you remember your first makeup item? So what I will say is two parts to this. You know when you were younger and you would get like a little doll or something and it would have like a fake like art makeup or like children's makeup? Like I think that would have been like my first purchase um, as like a child. But I remember growing up, like my very first purchase I brought was foundation. And oh my God, there is a story to tell that went so wrong. So I literally walked into a supermarket, picked up the first like container of, of like foundation I found. Didn't even know what color matching was back then. I remember I got home and it was like a fudge almost. Like it was a really thick, thick foundation. I didn't even know what brand I had picked up. And I scooped it on. I didn't even have makeup brushes. That's how young I was. Scooped it up, put it onto my skin, literally like army, like army paint put it onto my skin and I was like, oh, it's a really orange color. Like maybe it will just like, you know, change as like the day goes on or something. I had literally no idea about makeup when I was younger. And I remember walking out of the bathroom, my mom was like, what have you done? And I was like, oh, I just picked up some foundation. And she's like, go and wash that off your face. And I walked back into the bathroom and like, I didn't even blend it. Like I didn't even know what blending was back then, but there was these thick like orange chunks across my face and I'd like rubbed it with my fingers. So like it was like just, it was just not a good look. And so yeah, those are my sort of first makeup purchases back in the day. And like, you know, to give me a little bit of like, you know, relief, like I was probably, I don't know, like 10 maybe. I don't know. I was super, super young to describe your perfect favorite mascara. So my all time favorite mascara is actually by Benefit. I love, love their mascaras. I don't wear mascara anymore because I do have eyelash extensions, but when I don't wear, when I don't have them or like, for example, during COVID when I literally had nothing and no one, um, I reverted back to the Benefit and I love them because they're not clumpy, they're thick, they give you volume and it doesn't give you that like horrid, like when you're washing off the mascara, like that horrid panda eyes that sometimes you can get the next morning. So I absolutely love, love, love their mascara. Number three is what coverage do you like from a foundation? When I was younger, I was all about the full coverage. Like I have freckles and I used to be really self-conscious of them. Now I honestly go for more of a medium coverage. Like I don't really enjoy the caked on look as much anymore. Like obviously for an event, if it's full glam, then 100%. But for the most part, like I actually really love like my skin. I think I've grown into it. I've learned to accept that I'm always gonna have freckles. Whether you like it or not, they're not gonna go anywhere. So I've just got to embrace them. And so now I'll always kind of go for just like a medium look like during the day I really don't wear makeup unless I'm at work or I've got like something on for work that kind of thing But yeah, I definitely do prefer more of a medium coverage In saying that though when it comes to concealer, I love a full-blown coverage when it comes and I'm yet to honestly find one that is like non-creasing because obviously you've got creases in your face blah 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 um, But yeah with a concealer, I like the bright and full coverage foundation. I like it medium Number four is your favorite high-end brand. You know, I love, love Tom Ford. I think there's like some amazing products in that range, but I'll probably go with Glass House. Um, I only have ever purchased one item from Glass House and I think like their products are just so luxurious. So that would be my favorite. Number five is high-end brand that you would like to try but haven't yet. Hmm. You know what? I actually really haven't used any of the Charlotte Tilbury range before. Like I would personally consider that high end. I'm not sure if you do, but yeah, I've never used it before and I've seen so many amazing like pieces. I've personally not purchased that brand before. I see it everywhere and I really want to try it, but I never have. Uh, number six is my favorite drugstore brand. This is a really hard question because I recently came across e.l.f. and I say recently because yes, it was recent and I love e.l.f. products. Like I'm obsessed. Before that, I'd probably say Maybelline. 
uh, but it would be like a toss between the two, but I am loving e.l.f. I actually went and brought like a few other things from e.l.f. because I was like, this stuff is the bomb. Number seven, do you wear fake, do you wear fake eyelashes? I have eyelash extensions, so if that's the same thing, then yes. Uh, number eight, any makeup you can't leave your house without. Honestly, I'm not that, like I'm, I'm okay with that makeup, but what I would say is I always, always carry a lip balm with me. Like it's always in like my little purse or my big bag because I get the driest lips, whether it's pawpaw or chapstick, anything like that, that's probably the one item that I just wouldn't leave a house without. But I'm not gonna say like foundation because I'm not that precious when it comes to makeup. Mine is my most cherished beauty product. Oh, I don't think I'm literally that attached to any of my makeup. Um, I do have a beauty product that means something to me. So for Christmas last year, one of my close friends, she brought me a lipstick, a YSL lipstick, and she had my name engraved on it. And so that's like, it's special to me and I cherish that because of the thought behind it. Um, so I'm gonna go with that. But other than that, there's not anything that I'm just like, I must have this in my life. Number 10 is how often do you shop for makeup? That's a really good question because I'm very like, I'm very on and off with my makeup. Like some days I'll just go and do a massive makeup haul. Other times I just won't buy makeup for months. Um, so it's, it depends on my mood. It depends on my mood. Number 11, what type of product do you buy the most? Lipstick. I'm obsessed with lipstick. If you saw my lipstick collection, you'd think I have problems and I probably do. Number 12 is what is your favorite place to shop for makeup? I love Sephora, I love Mecca, I love drugstores. I really go anywhere, like I'm not an actual makeup snob and then I have to buy it from a certain place. I'll sometimes even go onto their direct website and just buy it on there, it depends if they have a sale or not. Number 13 is your top five favorite beauty gurus. I think I like these people for all different reasons. So for example, I love James Charles because he is so creative. Like I personally probably wouldn't have enough talent to create some of the looks that he makes, but I think his finished makes, I just, his finished products are amazing. Um, I love Desi Perkins cause she can go from like everyday beauty looks to like full glam in like a click and she's gorgeous. Um, I love Chloe Morello being an Aussie. I think her looks are just gorgeous. Like she's very, very feminine. And she can again go from that really nice everyday subtle look to then just pulling out something that you're like, wow, that's incredible. Um, so who else do I like? Um, I love Nikki tutorials again for a very similar reason to James. Like I just, I think their talent behind their creations are amazing. I love the stories that they tell with their makeup and the looks that they create. Um, and she's just an amazing person as well. Like, I followed her forever on YouTube and I think she's so, so beautiful. Number 14 is, do you use eyeshadow primer? Yes, I do. I mix between, found, I mix between like a normal primer and an eyeshadow primer, really depending on like what is close by when I'm doing my makeup or where I'm doing my makeup. But I have definitely learned the hard lesson that I need to have something on my eyelids before I apply my eyeshadow. Otherwise, it just really doesn't get the effect and look that I want. Number 15 is foundation or concealer first. So I've always put foundation first and then my concealer. Tell me if that's wrong. I just, in my mind, like foundation for me is like covering and then concealer is brightening. So I want, I wouldn't want to put a concealer on and dull it down by foundation because they're different colors. So I don't know. Is that a thing? Do people put concealer first and then foundation? Have I been doing it wrong my whole life? Let me know in the comment section below. And number 16 is what do you love about makeup? I honestly love that it can, you can be really whoever you want to be when it comes to makeup. You can express yourself in different ways. I love that you can create looks that perhaps you probably wouldn't. I love that it can give you a glow up. I love that it can give you confidence. Don't get me wrong. I think everyone should feel absolutely beautiful in the skin that they have, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with you building on that confidence and that beauty with a materialistic product being makeup. 17, number 17 is which celebrity has great makeup? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, every celebrity has mostly good makeup because they have like a bomb ass makeup artists. Um, I'm gonna go real generic here and say Kim Kardashian because like Mario is just amazing with the looks he creates. I know he does some other celebrities makeups too, but I don't know who, so I'm just gonna run with that. Number 18, if there was only one brand, what would you use? Mm, 
I'm not going to say e.l.f. again because I've already used that in this video. I am going to say Maybelline because I love their products. Or Morphe. I'm going to say Morphe actually. I'm going to change that to Morphe. Number 19, do you try new skincare or keep your routine? I am very much a stickler to routine when it comes to my skincare because I do have skin that's quite sensitive. I do like to find what works for me and I will stick with that for a period of time. I actually have just changed my skincare. So I was using one particular brand for about six months. I've just switched that up um, and I've been seeing some really amazing results. So I will share that with you in another video. Um, but for the most part, I'm, I'm a routine girl when it comes to skincare. And number 20 is drugstore or high end. I honestly like drugstore. Like I know that it's nice to have a high end product in your collection. It's nice. I know it's nice to have like a high end product in your collection and everyone should, but honestly for me, like drugstore is just, it's affordable. It does a lot of the same thing. There are so many dupes out there for like high end and drugstore that it's like, why do I spend like triple the amount sometimes on a product that is existing right there for like three quarters of the price? But in all my experiences, like all and most of the drugstore products I've tried have given the exact result that I've wanted. So I have a really soft spot for drugstore products. Um, alrighty, so they are the 20 beauty tag questions. I hope you guys have learned a little bit more about me. I will tag some fellow YouTubers as well to jump on here and complete their 20 questions. But again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again soon. Bye.